Hey everybody, welcome to Honeycomb Manila. My name is Keo Kosha and this show is called All Things Creative. It's kind of the catch-all for all of the stuff that we're doing here at Honeycomb with our different publications. Uh, but specifically, we are doing something for At Daily Drink Mag today and we are tasting the Calzada 2019-2020 to Harvest Tasting Pack. So this is the box and inside there were four coffees. Uh, we've opened them up and we've been tasting them day to day and we think that now is the right time to do a tasting experience so that we can better explain and understand uh, what was going on inside this coffee. Now, just to let you guys know, right now we are in the cafe, which is not the studio. So a lot of our other content we shoot in the studio, the recording studio is soundproof. Here it is not, it is glass all around and this window is open into the co-working space. Um, but outside there are doors, there's an elevator, people pass by. Um, it is safe from uh, any droplets or germs coming in uh, because of the glass but it is not soundproof so you do hear a lot of the stuff like right now you might have heard the screeching of the fire exit door <laughs> over there now on this show we're doing something that i like to call exploded and compressed which which is where we take a coffee and we uh, chop it down into different parts through the brewing process we explode it out uh, and as you watch it, you'll understand what I'm talking about. So we explode it out uh, using the origami brewer. And then afterwards, after tasting those cups, we then go over to the Strata and we taste it compressed as an espresso and kind of see how those compare to each other just, you know, as an experiment in flavor. So all of the coffees from our first four episodes are going to come from this Calzada Coffee 2019-2020 Harvest Tasting Pack. And they have four different single origin coffees from the Philippines that we're gonna taste. We'll try to explain the process as we go along, but the first one is the Sitio Nagwe Naturals, which is a favorite of mine uh, over last year and this year. So yeah, join us and let's taste some coffee. All right, this is our exploded brewing process. The first thing that we're gonna do is we actually use hot water to heat up all of the cups and I'm emptying the hot water now that the cups are heated up. The reason we do this is because we want a stable brewing environment in all four cups because we are going to be moving the brewer between the cups during the brewing process. Now we are using Kalita filters in our origami dripper. Uh, we chose the origami dripper because of the high flow rate and both these items can be purchased at El Capitan Coffee. You can find them on Instagram. All right, so now I'm loading in the coffee. And the coffee is a Sitio Nage Naturals and we've ground it on the E10 grinder from Compact. It, that is a espresso grinder but I have found very good results with it for drip coffee. Because of the conical nature of the burrs, you have a really good grind distribution. You get a lot of contrasting boulders and fines from that grinder and not much in the middle. So it's either a fine or a boulder and I find that that makes for very tasty contrasting uh, brews. So now we're gonna pour coffee into all four and move the dripper as we brew. Let's start the timer. And in the first 50 seconds, I'm going to be adding zero to 60 ml of water. So I'm trying to get all 60 ml in that first 50 seconds. Now, why are we not blooming the coffee? Well, you'll see during the tasting period that blooming really didn't change the uh, the result what we have is that there is lots of flavor in this first pour of coffee even though we don't aggressively bloom the coffee uh, right away so now we're moving into the second cup we've come up on 50 seconds and we're gonna now add water from 61 ml to 120 ml so we're adding another 60 ml of water in the next 50 seconds. And we're gonna try and get all of that water to drip down. Now, even though the water doesn't all drip down in that 50 seconds, you want to move it to the next cup when you get to 140 seconds. The reason why is because this experiment is mostly about water contact with coffee time. So that's when the, when the liquid dripping down is coming down at, and at what time. Now I'm adding it the third cup. This is the next 60 grams, which will take us up to 180. Since I'm using two scales, I'm doing 60, 120, 60, 120. And now we come up on two minutes, 30 seconds. We're gonna move it to the final cup and try to get another 60 ml in 
from 180 ml to 240 ml in that last 50 seconds of brew time. Now, uh, one of the challenges we face with origami dripper, and if you have one, you know this, it's hard to get it perfectly level, which is one of the reasons I like using these Kalita flatbeds uh, because it kind of will bow according to gravity and, and the way that the water, that the liquid draws through it, draws down through it. So it's less important that it be flat versus like a V60, which has a pointed end. Um, the flat bottom will kind of bow and resolve some of that for us. Now exactly at three minutes, 20 seconds, you do want to remove that dripper as close to that time as possible. Again, because we are concentrating on water contact with coffee time. And here are our four cups. You can see kind of how the color has changed, how the volumes have changed across the four. And that's our experiment. That's how we explode our coffees. So let's go back to taste them. So the first cup you can see, first cup you can see the, uh, the consistency. Take a sniff. So this first cup is the first 60 grams. Very heavy mouthfeel. Very nice. High acidity. There are definitely some berry notes and it's tangy, but it's very concentrated. It's hard to identify any one tasting note here, but you see that there is a lot going on. It's um, kind of like when you eat a champoy and like there's so many flavors going on. It's like that, which in theory isn't a champoy, like a natural processed uh, snack. All right, cup number two. This was the from 61 grams to 120 grams more or less. And this was in the second 50 seconds of brewing. There's definitely a milky texture to it in its body. So I would call this a kind of a medium bodied coffee. There's a tanginess that's coming out some strawberry, it's a familiar flavor uh, to me because I've had this coffee quite a bit in previous harvests. Yeah, medium to heavy body. And in the finish, you very much start to taste a sweet strawberry, like a Baggia strawberry. It's quite good. Uh, this is the third cup. You can, sign, you can kind of see the color that some redness is really showing here. In previous cups, it was like a dark brown, but this one is nice and beautifully red. Mmm. Not so much with that milky finish and that full-bodiedness anymore. So this one, it, it's starting to space out the flavors. Um, that strawberry is tasting more like an unripe strawberry. but it's definitely there. Uh, it's very tangy. It is definitely a mix of berries, like the strawberry, that that um, Malik strawberry taste is definitely there. Uh, acidity is starting to taper off and we're starting to taste the sweetness in this third cup. So that third stage of brewing really is starting to bring out a lot of the sugars that were caramelized in that in the start in the beginning of the process. That's a really good cup. All right, let's go to the fourth cup. This is the fourth cup. You can see that it is quite light already. It's almost like a light brandy color. Um, it's still red, but but kind of the the yellowness is back. Uh, from the earlier cup. So it was like a dark brown, dark brown, a reddish color, and this is like a caramel yellow color. All right, let's taste this. Hmm. All right, so you're really starting to taste a lot more of the water flavor. Hmm. 
there's a citrus and a lime coming out, which is strange because usually you expect a lot of the acidity in the start of the cup. And this one, maybe because it's just cooling down, I've had several, you know, it's taken a while for me to get here. This one, you're starting to taste some nice uh, lime. All right, so you have some lime in this one, kind of like some strawberries, some mixed berries, unripe strawberry, and then a sweet strawberry, and then lime. Um, kind of strung together and you really had the acidity in the beginning and finishing off with some fruity sweetness this is a beautiful coffee it's gonna taste really good all together so what we're doing is we're actually skipping the middle stage which would be just a straight drip coffee we're doing this exploded drip coffee system and then now we're gonna have it super compressed as an espresso so we'll make it now I'll be right back so our expectation is that this is going to be a relatively fast shot. We do a super long pre-infusion uh, here in Honeycomb. And then a fast shot. So it's going to come out kind of dripping like a regular espresso. And then it's going to accelerate very quickly because of that very long pre-infusion. You can hear how fast it is. But it being a uh, AV, being a volumetric machine, we're actually going to get exactly the, the correct amount of liquid we want through. Shot time is 36 seconds. So we always try to give our espresso a stir before we taste it. Mmm. That milky finish is definitely there. The lime has come out a lot here. But the strawberries, the strawberries are kind of in the middle. And then there's this nice fat finish of sweetness. I like this coffee. This is a really good coffee. I find that this is a bit more caramelized. And then there's this. There's a tomato note that's here that is not in other that is not in the other method. So in the exploded method we didn't get that flavor. But here in the compressed uh, mode we have a very very present tomato. It's a sweet tomato. And it's interesting because when I tried this coffee a few days ago I didn't get this result. All right, very good. Sitio Nagwe Benguet Naturals Processing. Um, is it worth your money? Yeah, it's absolutely worth your money. Uh, besides the fact that it's really good, it's always great to support a good Filipino producer. Aside from it being a great way to spend your money, um, I am a big supporter of spending, uh, of supporting things that are good. Like things should be good on their own. And then as a bonus, it is a Philippine coffee. Right now, they sell it in this harvest tasting pack. I assume that you'll be able to buy it individually in a pack like this. This is 180 grams. It is a good coffee, very flexible. Uh, it is roasted relatively lightly. You expect to be able to brew it at home in, uh, in a pour over environment, but it does taste pretty good as an espresso when it is compressed. So there's some information that's on the package and then there's some information that's on the box. Uh, it looks like more information is on the box. I'll read it from there. This is the Sitio Nage Naturals. Uh, variety was Tipica, Red Bourbon, and San Ramon. Elevation is from 1,200 to 1,400 meters above sea level, which is, it, I believe that this is the lowest elevation of all of the four Calzada coffees inside this tasting pack. And um, yeah, it is a natural processed coffee. Subscribe. You can follow along on Instagram. I am at Keokosha, but also follow at Honeycomb Manila, which is our studio here. This is the cafe in the studio. And then uh, also follow along at Daily Drink Mag um, on Instagram and www.dailydrinkmag.com. Subscribe on YouTube and you can actually look up. We have an interview uh, on our collaboration with Yardstick Coffee called Let's Coffee, uh, where we sat down and spoke to Tere Domini of Casada Coffee and we talked about kind of their operation and their genesis and her story as well. So if you like all those things, please do subscribe and click the like button and comment if you've tasted this coffee and what your opinions are on it. 
we do have four bags in that tasting uh, in this harvest tasting pack so yeah there's there's a lot to unpack and we're gonna have a different video where we do the exploded and compressed on each of those you can see those on our youtube page all right i wish you all good luck i wish you all good health uh, let me know if you try this method and peace